Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Dervatis, an OBGYN in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada. Welcome to my channel devoted to intrauterine contraception and answering patient questions about all things related to IUC. In today's video, we're going to talk about bleeding after IUD insertion. So what to expect, what's normal, what's not normal um, after an IUD is inserted in terms of the immediate few weeks or months after an IUD, also looking at longer term uh, bleeding patterns after an IUD is inserted. One of the number one questions that uh, I get from patients or calls that we get to the office after an IUD has been inserted is patients calling and talking about what has happened to their bleeding, um, changes uh, that they've noticed and wondering, is this normal or not normal? Should I be worried about this bleeding? Uh, so today's video is going to deal with that. So with regards to IUD insertion and the bleeding thereafter, regardless of whether or not the IUD is levonorgestrel or hormone containing, uh, that would be Marina and Kylina, or whether it's a copper IUD, and we'll talk about both, um, there's going to be some adjustment phase uh, bleeding in the first four to six weeks after the IUD is inserted. Now, not every person has this issue with bleeding. Some patients, I insert an IUD and they say, yeah, I had a little bit of light bleeding for a couple of days afterwards and not much else. But for most patients, I warn them to expect some unpredictable bleeding for the first few weeks. It could even last as long as a couple of months, although that's less common. But definitely there might be some unpredictable bleeding for the first few weeks after an IUD is inserted. Now, the bleeding usually isn't very heavy. Oftentimes it might be enough just to be wearing a liner. Other times it might be heavy enough to wear a pad. Um, I usually advise my patients to avoid tampons for the first few weeks uh, after insertion. Uh, after that tampon use is fine. But the bottom line is is that the bleeding tends to be light, annoying sometimes, but not super super heavy. So I warn patients to expect that and to reassure them that having that sort of bleeding is normal. In terms of color of blood, I get a lot of questions uh, from concerned patients saying it, it has turned a different color. It's brown now or it's black or it used to be bright red and now it's a maroon color, all varying comments with regards to the actual color of the blood. Similarly, I get comments from patients about the consistency of the blood that now it's sort of stringy or thick or looks like there's tissue there. All sorts of different comments with regards to the actual cons consistency of the blood. The bottom line is, is that the color of the blood, the consistency of the blood does not matter. It's not a sign of anything bad if you notice that the bleeding is more dark brown or blackish looking um, or different than the bright red bleeding that you might be used to with your periods. Um, similarly, if there's a slight thickening of the blood or change in consistency, that's not a sign of anything bad either. The main thing that we're looking for after an IUD insertion uh, in terms of what would make me worried would be not so much different colored blood or different consistency of blood, but discharge that is foul, smelling, copious, thick, purulent discharge. So something that might suggest an infection, that's different, that definitely I need to know about. But if things have changed in terms of the color or consistency of your bleeding, it's not necessarily something to be worried about. Now, in terms of what is going to happen to your periods after an IUD inserted, is inserted, some of that depends on what kind of IUD uh, you have chosen. Now, the copper IUD tends to cause slightly heavier, slightly more crampy periods. Not in every single patient, but it has more of a tendency to uh, add to menstrual bleeding and to cause a bit more cramping. So definitely in a patient who already has problems with heavier cycles or more painful cycles, I would be steering them away from a copper IUD just because I wouldn't want to take the chance of making uh, that menstrual bleeding or those cramps uh, any worse. Now with regards to the levonorgestrel containing IUDs, uh, the commonest ones prescribed in Canada being Marina and Kylina. 
with both of those IUDs, patients over the long term could expect less heavy, less painful periods for the most part. So about 90% of patients will notice less heavy periods, 70% will notice less painful periods, and anywhere from 20 to 30%, uh, depending on Kylina versus Marina, but anywhere from 20 to 30% may barely have any bleeding at all. Now, in the 20 to 30% that aren't having a cycle, they might just occasionally have some sporadic, unpredictable light bleeding that kind of comes out of nowhere without a real cyclic pattern, um, which is normal and not a sign of anything bad. And I will also reassure patients that there is not anything unhealthy or worrisome about not having a period when you have a Marina or Kylina IUD in place. It's simply a function of the levonorgestrel, the progesterone in the IUD, thinning out the lining of the uterus so that there's not really much lining to even shed. A lot of patients get worried. They think that there's sort of a backlog or a buildup of stuff inside the uterus that's not being shed and that's uh, why they think it's not healthy to not have a period, but that's simply not the case. Really, it's just the progesterone there every single day, keeping the lining nice and thin um, so that there's not really anything to shed uh, in terms of menstrual bleeding. Now, in the first few months after the IUD is inserted, you may notice that your periods sometimes are a little bit longer, although less bleeding, but sometimes a little bit more drawn out in terms of number of days. I've had lots of patients comment on that. That usually corrects itself over time. There is going to be another adjustment phase in terms of uh, what is going to happen with your menstrual cycles uh, with Marina and Kylina. It takes a few months to see the beneficial menstrual side effects. The longer that the progesterone is there in the uterus thinning out the lining, um, the more chance um, we have of seeing less heavy, uh, less painful cycles. But sometimes it can take a few months uh, for things to, shall we say, settle out and for there to be um, an improvement in terms of bleeding patterns. So the most important thing uh, I tell patients about bleeding in the first few months after an IUD is inserted is that you need to be patient. And how things are at the one month mark, even the two or three month mark may not necessarily reflect what your periods are going to be like uh, down the road. Now that said, there is a subset of patients that may have persistent uh, unpredictable or intermenstrual bleeding or bleeding in between cycles, um, even beyond the first few months of uh, the IUD being inserted. But I would have to say that that's fairly rare and it's very rare for me to have patients coming back needing to have the IUD removed or requesting that the IUD be removed because they're unhappy with the bleeding problem, uh, with the bleeding pattern, or because they're having problems with uh, ongoing intermenstrual bleeding. So that would be the minority of patients in the long term. Another comment I get from patients is that sometimes they might have a bit of bleeding after intercourse, after an IUD is inserted. That usually resolves over time. If it's an ongoing problem, I would have that patient come back to see me in the office for a checkup. Uh, I would rule out any sort of infection. Um, but again, in the first few adjustment, month, adjustment months, it's not uncommon for a patient to have a bit of bleeding after intercourse. So that was just a bit of information about the IUD and what to expect in terms of bleeding after an IUD insertion. The take home message is that things are usually the worst and the most annoying for the first few weeks uh, and the first couple of months potentially after the insertion, but that the longer the IUD stays in place, the better the bleeding pattern tends to get over time. I also wanted to take the opportunity to let patients know that uh, the levonorgestrel IUD is actually used as treatment to help women with period problems like heavy bleeding and painful periods. I'll talk more about that in another video, uh, but uh, just to let patients know that not only is the IUD used as contraception, uh, but that over time, because the bleeding pattern tends to get better and better, uh, we actually use it as a treatment for uh, heavy and painful menstrual bleeding.
So that's it for today's video. I hope this has been helpful. I will remind you that in less than the time that it took for you to watch this video, you could have had an IUD inserted because uh, it takes just five minutes to do and it gives you five years of worry-free contraception. See you in the next video. Take care.